They wrote their own software code, yeah. so they're they're really running on the uh, the base element components, and, right. and the DCS team, the data center solutions team, sells them that. So we still sell storage in that. That's a very different model. That yeah. model is the guy owns his own software, and he's just looking for hardware. Uh, the products that we sell uh, generally to the you know the Compellent Equalogic products are the complete solution, and for uh, you, know, you, you talked about these, these these giant companies. There's only a handful of them because only a few people can do that. Yeah. Uh, they have a huge, huge investment software. Is is there any difficulty in sort of differentiating among the customer base between Equalogic or Compellent? You know, when do you lead with Compellent? When do you lead with yeah. Equalogic? Yeah, uh, well, th yes, there's difficulty. Okay, yeah, I th I thank think, you for your candor. Yeah, yeah, I think there is difficulty. <laughs> I think most of the time it's because uh, the salesperson, uh, I mean, either came from the compellent side right. or the Equalogic you side, know, you, you and know they know that product nice. very well. Right. And, uh, and, and, and the products do overlap a bit, and, mm -hmm. and we're not ashamed of the overlap. We actually intended it for it to be there. But they overlap, like if you pick a capacity point and a performance number, they're, they're going to overlap a lot. But if you start asking the customer, well, you know, how are you going to manage this? Who's going to manage this? How many people do you have to manage it? Uh, is this something that uh, you want to ever scale, and how big will it scale? You get the answer to those questions, and it separates itself into two systems okay. very quickly. Okay. So, so, uh, so our, our, our sales team does know how to sort if you will, ask the uh, ask the, uh, the the questions that define the customer, yeah. and quite often the customer will look at a system and say, "Well, you know, no, I, I, I uh, you know, I, I've had very large companies that I thought should have bought, let's say, Compellent, and they'll say, no, 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 I want I want this system to operate in this environment, this way, and as soon as they said that, I'll say, oh, well, that's equal logic. Yeah. So you, you just can't go by the size of the company, you right. can't go by whether they're going to put it in a data center or not, you have to actually understand their usage of it before you know, know how they're going to. So it's a pretty consultative sales model then. Right? Uh, it's consultative, the, the sales guy can do the consulting. I mean, okay. our sales guys are pretty well trained. I mean, they, they can go in and ask the 20 questions and, uh, you know, if they need to, we have professional services. So we can come in and do like a half day assessment and the professional service will definitely sort between these are compellent like opportunities. They may even say these are power vault opportunities. Yeah, uh, yeah, because so you, you've got a third, you got a third line there. Yeah, right. So let's see. The power vault line was uh, based on some LSI technology, right? It, 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 is it still LSI or is it yeah. NetApp? No. Yeah, no, no I think, it, this, I think it's stayed with LSI, right? No, no. no? The, oh, you're the, part of the. Yeah, okay. the the, uh, the, the MD three thousand technology was based on the okay. Ingenio LSI. Okay. And is now residing with our good friends uh, good in friends. NetApp. Yeah. So, Okay. So, uh, so how that, how's that going? Well, they've confirmed for us they intend to do the same technology uh, advancements that uh, LSI did. So for us, it's uh, of course we put it on our own hardware. So we basically buy a software you license software. for them. Yeah. So there's much more to it than just that one piece. But the the, the software is pretty robust, and the, the company's continuing to support everything we care about. So as long as they do that, we're pretty comfortable with it. Okay. Um, it's not a it's not a problem for us. We we buy we buy hard we buy uh, tape drives from IBM. Yeah, uh, and we still buy stuff. From, yes, you do. From EMC. Yeah. Right. So, so it's a so tape isn't dead. No, right? Tape no. isn't exactly dead. Yeah, no, and there's, it's there's mostly a, dead. There's a lot of frenemies <laughs> no, out there. No, yeah. It's, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll talk to uh, we'll talk to Tom Georgians and see how, what he's going to do with that OEM business, and uh, we'll yeah. get back to you on that. Oh, yeah. let, no. let me know if <laughs> no, he says anything <laughs> different. I, I'm sure he's going to talk to you first before he talks <laughs> <laughs> about that. That's good. All right. So are you going to stay here for the rest of the conference? Oh yeah, I'm here till it closes. I'm awesome. I'm the uh, I'm the MC every morning. I have to come up with new jokes every day. Oh, let's hear one. I'm putting you on the spot. Let's okay. do it. Okay. You know, I, you know, I have a lot of software <laughs> engineers working for me, right? You know how to tell the introverted ones from the extroverted ones? How? The introverted ones, when you ask them a question, they'll look at their shoes. You know how that is. They sure. Look down. The extroverted ones will look at your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That was cute. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> That's it. I like his arms. Yeah. <laughs> what else are you excited about at the conference itself? Well, I, I'm excited about all the interest in fluid. Uh, you yeah. Know, De Del I mean, that's has, a big theme here. Yeah, uh, and Dell has taken this, and we, you know, we're the ones that uh, we're the ones that create. I'm sure everybody's going to be talking about it here in a few months, but we're the ones that have advanced this concept. Uh, we were talking about highly automated, intelligent infrastructure, and when we acquired uh, Compellent, they they basically had trademarked the fluid data architecture, and so we said <laughs> that fits, and that's a good container, if you will. It's a good message 
to make that statement about. So, yeah. so the uh, the the whole fluid data it has it has crystallized our thinking. Instead of instead of us thinking, well, what's the next microprocessor that's going to make this faster, or how can we you know make thin provisioning a little thinner, a little faster? Instead of that, we're now kind of elevating up to the customer value set of what makes the whole system more efficient. What makes the whole system be able to behave like a customer's need to behave in a world where there's 35 zettabytes of data out there? What how do you do that? And and so, uh, I would suggest this this whole concept has raised our game. And and unlike most companies, we took our we took our the thing that keeps us awake at night, fluid data, and we brought it to this conference. And we asked the customers here, what do you think? What 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 what, what does this do for you? And and we're getting great feedback from them on what keeps them awake at night. And this is kind of a hallmark of Dell. It's a it was a hallmark of Equalogic. It was a hallmark of Compellent. We get we get our best answers from our customers, who then turns out, by the way, you know, actually buy the equipment because <laughs> it's what they wanted, and uh, uh, so so that's pretty exciting. So when you feel yourselves starting to get in a rut, you know, I mean, people can typically feel that in terms of innovation, like you were talking about before. Is it really the customers that bring you back? Yeah, uh, I I'd, I'd say it's a. Uh, I'd, I'd say there, you know, it's kind of a. There's a three-legged stool here. There's the customers. There's the technology. You, the industry itself, whether you're going to acquire the company or not. There's always the technologists out mm -hmm. there. Uh, we can OEM from these companies. We can learn from these companies. So there's an enormous amount of technology yeah. uh, evolving, and that's always kind of exciting, especially for the geek engineers and totally. Some of us. And the, and then the third leg of this is the the business models are having to change. So. Uh, you know, everybody used to license software and just sell. You know, if you wanted, if you wanted this feature, you had to pay, you know, hundred thousand extra for that. You want, oh, and oh, by the way, we brought you all new hardware, so it's another hundred thousand to keep that feature going. One of the things that really excites me is we're changing that game. Yeah. Dell is changing that game. None of our products have the licensing model that is uh, that we keep coming back to you to ring the doorbell and have you send us more money. Uh, we're we're actually changing that, and I will tell you. The customers love it. You you talk to one of our customers, they love the technology, they love Copilot, they love this, but you talk about our licensing model, and the CIO puts his cell phone down and looks up. Because <laughs> he understands what that means, or, or if the CFO, he does too. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, and, and so these things are breakthroughs, and, and that's, that's always pretty jazzy. Somebody described uh, Dell to me recently as sort of the, the IBM for the SMB. Um, yeah, and, and, I like that. And a, and it was it was in, it was an interesting analogy. One of the big components of IBM's ability to do what they do is their IBM Global Finance and the ability to make those sort of financial do that financial engineering. Mm -hmm. Is that an area of interest for Dell? And well, we have Dell Financial Services. Yeah. So for the SMB, I'd say we're pretty good at that. Yeah. And uh, I'm not an expert at it, but I know we can do leasing. Uh, we can do you know buy, pay as you go. We can pre-install equipment and turn it on when you're ready to accept it. So, so we've got some pretty innovative things there. So, I, I, I had never thought of. I, I don't necessarily like comparing myself to, no, a, I, to other companies. No, I understand but, that. But I, I didn't I, do it. I, 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 yeah. But you I repeated it. But I repeated it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I may not repeat it anymore. But, yeah, uh, but, but we are, we are that go-to company for infrastructure. Right. In the for the SMB. If you, yeah. you know, the interesting thing about the SMB is they're they're not a bunch of name droppers. It's not like when you go to the enterprise no. and it's well. I'm a this shop or I'm a that shop. And I'll, the SMB is all about solving their problems at their price point. Quite often, they could care less how somebody else did it. Uh, they, they, they may not want to go out and, uh, on a limb and buy something that ne has never been bought before, but they're certainly not, uh, they're not lemmings. They're yeah. not following well, them. Certainly a lot of them did because a lot of people bought Compellent and a lot of yeah. people bought Equalogic yeah. when they were, when they when they were, were small. small, right? Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. So good, they are willing to take a risk. Yeah, they, they really are. And, so if, and, if you and deliver the, real value. Yeah. It, exactly. And it has to be the value that they value. It has to be what they care about. Yeah, yeah. Value is a good point to leave it on. Well, we really appreciate your time. Thank you for stopping by. And I'm going to go watch some of your jokes. <laughs> Do you want to leave us with one more? No. No. Oh. no I got to save something. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. It's oh, great to thanks, John. Great to connect with you again, <laughs> Kelly. It. Yeah, it's great to have have you here with us. All right. So. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm going to exit stage right here. Yes.